Hey people, it is your girl, the artist formerly known as Lil Lady Carter, Enaj the Dragon, here with you guys to do another album review or it's been requested. I didn't know you guys liked them like that, but um, I've been getting emails about doing more of them because people seem to like them. So I'm about to take on Vic Mensa's album is called The Autobiography as told by Vic Mensa. But I'm gonna do this one a little different than my other ones because I never really give y'all uh, much information. I just kind of give y'all the art, but I have been asked to give a little bit more. So um, I'll give you guys my pre, my pre, uh, what is it, opinion of the artist or maybe the album or anything like that. Okay, for this album, I really don't have a pre-opinion for the album because I've um, not heard one single from it at all. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't have any. I'm just saying, just looking down the list of the names of the songs that's on it, um, I don't have any kind of like, None of these seem like a song I feel like, oh yeah, I heard that one before. I haven't heard any of the singles. I don't even know what was the single off of this album, to be honest. Um, I don't really li listen to Vic Mensa much. Uh, I think my first time seeing him was uh, Made in America tour when Beyonce performed. Um, I think I sat and watched his whole set because I really liked his outfits. A lot of his like outfits be like uh, having political messages and stuff on it. So that's how he caught my attention. And I'ma just be real. And this is no shade, no tea, no none of that towards Vic Mensa. I ain't coming for you trying to say you're not a celebrity because I don't know you. Because that's not it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I didn't know much about him. I can't tell you any of his songs before this album. Um, I really don't know much about him as an artist. Um, I've watched an interview of his and I thought he was very intellectual. And uh, like I said, I've heard him freestyle. I thought he did a good job freestyling. And then um, I watched him perform some songs at Made in America, but I didn't watch his whole set, but I watched the majority of his set, but I don't remember the songs. I just remember the whole time looking at his outfit and he like, he had on like this uh, jacket that had like, um, what else things called? He had like a painted jean jacket on and it had like political messages on it. And I thought that was pretty dope for him to be using a stage that big to be political. Anyways, so um, since I have not had a negative opinion of him, I have never been like, ugh, I would never listen to his album or nothing like that. He's definitely worth a chance. And when I saw his album drop, I was like, yep, this is gonna be the one to start back up my album review arts. So let's go ahead and get into the autobiography as told by Vic, Vic Mensa. <laughs> didn't I tell you we was gonna make it to the top, nigga? Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I tell you this was a new birth of the rock, nigga? Didn't I? Didn't I? Say I didn't send you that money when you needed it cause your mind... Okay, so right now we're one song in and yo, like that first track, I felt like it was really... Like he was really, I felt like he was talking to me as if I was a family member or someone very close. So to me, that that song, I feel, was very personal. Um, this is what the pain is looking like so far. A lot of times during um, songs, during song changes, the next song will make me feel like I need a new color. And just from that little intro that I was just listening to, I need, I feel like I'm gonna need to switch from just using this black to another color. I don't know what color just yet. Um, so if you see me off camera for a while, it's just me feeling the colors. Like literally, I just like take my hand over the colors to see which one I feel like some energy from. I know that's, that might sound weird, but anyways, that's how I do this. So yeah, one song in, okay, Big Mensa, you have my ear. Let's keep going. Kept me from off the corner with stones and GDs was warring and kings and BDs and VLs. I had dreams of being sure that even dope beans was scoring. Swish, trying to be like Mike, shooting through that baseline in their veins, trying to reach that. Okay, so now that I've heard that song. 
the song that just played Rolling Like a Stoner. I do believe I've heard that song before. Um, another thing when I'm doing album review arts is sometimes I get the urge to want to turn the track. Like, I'll just feel like I need to turn it a different way to see what it is that, I don't know, this album is inspiring me to do. So, I'll just like turn it, take a couple looks at it normally while the music is playing, and then decide where to go from there. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to continue to flip this canvas until I'm happy with where I feel like it's supposed to be. And we're going to keep going in this album, okay? I'm, I'm really feeling it, Kim. Yeah. Let's see, Big Mensa. Don't let me down. You're doing great. With draws, my other chick hiding in the bathroom in the drawers. And me, I'm in the middle just like Malcolm in the hallway. Like, please don't pull the fucking stove out the wall, babe. I knew you was crazy. I knew you was crazy. She, she caught you. I know. Fucking in the bathroom. In my home. This could be yeah. Listen, I hope you read this shit. Yeah. What up, Cam? It's Backwoods forever. Robin jeans, some jeans from a robin, a bunch of birds, parrots, parakeets, gluten free heralds, 10 gallons of mouth sauce, a hundred long fashion hey. shirts. Tuck your scary ass in bed. I'd like to send you a little ghetto lullaby. Grab your gun, I'll light a blunt, I'll pop a pillar, put a middle finger in the sky. Two niggas in a black Toyota with a strap is on me, suffer me, suffer me. We wrote our names beneath the bridge to be sure that the city never forgot us. Wings, wings, yeah. wings, Peter wings, 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 spread my brain, my brain, my brain. Just make me think about my life and fly. I wanted to fly away from it all The lies, the betrayal, the rage I felt To turn every page I ever written into flames and let it burn Every time they tried to block me Switch hands and change directions Fist in the air like Rocky Bitch, I think my name's Sylvester That's the difference between me and them When they thought it was the end, I was still trying to see an end Wonder whether leaving on the stoop. Oh my goodness. I would take notes if I were you. Oh my goodness. This was designed with the stars, the square and the cross, so we know true north. Oh my goodness. Smiling with 50 carrots in my jaw. Alright, so there you have it, guys. My album review are two Vic Mensa's The Autobiography as told by Vic Mensa. I am definitely a fan after that album. Um like it was it was a really good it was really good i really liked it i like how personal it was um i will say i don't feel like there were any singles aside from that very last song omg is like the only song i felt like was kind of like a single everything else seemed like it was a very personal story behind it so with that being the case i doubt that i'll listen to this album like i won't add any of these songs to like my feeling it playlist where i'm wanting to jam with my friends but it's definitely an album that i will go back and listen to when i'm just chilling like maybe if i'm painting maybe if i'm like zoning out like some day where i'm just chilling the beats were really good he had a really good selection of of beats he had um poetry in there just like they were in the right spots like the poems were like really in the right spots i don't know i just really liked it i liked his flow i liked um how he switched it up sometimes like i liked how he talked in more than first person like he talked as different people in his stories that was pretty cool i really like that that's something i as a rapper never do is like write a song as another person i always write songs from like first person yeah that's pretty much the only way i can explain it so you know when i see artists do things like that I, um that's like inspiring that's something i never even not that i never thought to do it i just never really do much of and i really like the way he used it yeah 
this this album is really good so if you guys have an album you would like me to do an album review art to whether that be an album that already came out or not because i'm just starting this so i kind of want to go back and do some old albums and just kind of see what happens um but old new famous people not don't matter to me if i've ever heard the artist or not and it doesn't even matter what genre anymore so if you like to suggest a album for me to do for my album review art please leave them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to this channel and remember i love you guys later Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Share this with your friends. Uh huh. Watch, share, repeat. Little lady caught a miss. Dean, if you nasty. Watch, share, subscribe, and tune in twice a week. Cause you know I keep it loud.